Gotcha! Well, Dave from Bethel here. See, the thing is, you know, and a lot of people are wondering if there was going to be any more videos because it has been a little bit. But uh, you ask and you shall receive. Dave from Bethel, right here. So, I'm putting down one of these uh, brews right here. This is a uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. And this is, I mean, this is classic. This, you know, this might date me just a little bit, but, you know, what the hell? This, this is a good friggin' beer. And they still make it. And, Christ, you know, I bet 30, 40 years from now, this will still be on the shelf, for Christ's sake. Yeah, this is a good, it's, you know, it's cheap. Comes in the 40, and it's Pabst Blue Ribbon, for Christ's sake. You can't deny the PBR, it's a friggin' legend. I mean, you drink all your, you drink all the goddamn Bud Light and friggin' Miller Lights and, and what's nots and whatever the hell you want. Nothing's gonna touch a good old PBR. If you, if you die hard, you know, drinker, you, you've experienced one or two or 15 PBRs. So, let me just start off the video by saying, uh, uh, you know, I, I do every video with my Blaze Orange on. And mostly because, you know, you, you can't never be too safe. It's a good thing to have the, the blaze orange because, well, I mean, that's a signal. If I'm out there in the woods and I see a creature lurking through the, the bushes there and I, I see some movement, you know, I mean, chances are, it depends on how many of these bastards I've had, but I might take a pot shot or two, you know, just see what movement we get out of it, you know. But if I see any blaze orange whatsoever, you know I'm, I'm going to put down my weapon. I'm, I'm going to probably uh, call out and see if I know the, the fella. You know, there's probably somebody I know anyway. You know, either Kurt or Fred or somebody down the street. But I, I'm not about to shoot my neighbor, you know. So, and that's why they wear the blaze orange too. So let me just, let me clear my throat a little bit and take a swig of this bastard right here. Boy, don't that go down easy, huh? You ever have one of these? I mean, Christ. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. You go to your local IGA and you just grab one of them suckers right off the shelf and it's the whole way home. You're just, you're just wondering, you know. You ought to get two because what's going to happen, especially if you live a distance away, you're going to want to crack into that first one. As soon as you get up on the main street there, you know, you get her in the kick her in the third or fourth gear, and you're thinking about that PBR beside you, you know, you go ahead, what the hell, you know, especially get on the highway or even a back road, you know, something, as long as you know the back road, like the back of your hand, nothing's going to happen, you know, you crack into that son of a whore, tip that bastard back, and you just, I mean, it's a, it makes for a short trip, so, the other thing I want to talk about tonight primarily is, well, is beers, you know, I mean, as we go day to day, I mean, a lot of you is probably a lot of you out there watching this video drink more than I do. And Christ, that's, I mean, that's something to be proud of right there. But a lot of it comes down to just, you know, what type of beer you like to drink. And, you know, I, I get these people ask me all the time, Dave, what the hell? What are you doing with that freaking Natty Ice right there, you know? Or, or I get freaking Dave. What the hell is that? Milwaukee's best? Holy shit, I used to drink that back in high school, you know? Oh, uh, you know, whatever. What the fuck ever, you know? It's like, I, this is what I like to drink. It's cheap, it's got good flavor, and for Christ's sake, it's a good value, you know? That's what it comes down to. Dave from Bethel's a little bit thrifty, you know what I'm saying? But this right here, I, I can vouch for this, so PBR. Perhaps, you know, that's a good beer. That's why they give it the blue ribbon, for Christ's sake, you know. But a lot of, you got these mucky mucks, you know. You got these, these friggin' snobs, you know, out in these friggin' nightclubs, you know. And they're like, well, all I drink is, uh, you know, they got the hand like this, you know. Friggin', well, all I drink is uh, the Sam Adams Noble Pills, you know. Or some friggin' new, new beer that just came out. I drink the seasonal blend, you know. I friggin'. Fuck you, you know, go suck a dick for Christ's sake, you know, I ain't got time for that shit, yeah, I'm freaking, well, I honestly gotta say though, Sam Adams, they, they got a couple brews out there that I do like, 
But it's like having cake every once in a while, you know? You ain't going to eat that every day, for Christ's sake. It's like having a good piece of chocolate cake. Christ, I drink that every day. No, that's that's just not even that's not even right. You know, you gotta have something regular. You gotta have some roughage. You gotta have your freaking salad and steak and potatoes too. You know, you can't just eat fucking cake all day for Christ's sake. You gotta put that shit. There. You gotta have a sensible meal right there. That's what that is. You gotta have a sensible meal. And of course, you know, you got these women. And they're drinking their wine coolers and their freaking Smirnoffs and whatever the hell that shit is, you know. I mean, Christ, all that is freaking, you take a fifth of vodka and then you take a fifth of sugar and you just mix them bastards together and you get one of them freaking Zemas, for Christ's sake. You get some of these guys coming out freaking, oh, uh, say, you want to pick me up six pack of Zima? <laughs> That's not even right, for Christ's sake. Friggin' Zima, you know, what the hell is that? That's not, that's not friggin' beer. Jesus. So anyway, I guess what it comes down to is friggin' drink what you want. Dave from Bethel don't give a shit, but you know, don't try to press that on me. You know, I ain't gonna drink your Zimas, for Christ's sake. I ain't gonna make you drink paps neither, but I tell you what, there's a good value and there's good flavor. You ought to put the bastard down, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it for this video right here. And uh, cheers. And I'll, I'll just leave you with one last little story right here. This is like a PS. I will call this a PS on, a, on an unmarked envelope. I don't even know what the hell that means, but that's probably the PBI talking. <laughs> That's the PBI talking to. So, I'm just going to leave you with this one, one last uh, statement, you know. I, I was out, and this probably a couple of years ago anyway, you know, but I was out at this dance club, and uh, they was playing all that friggin' jigaboo music, you know. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. The friggin', you know, the hip-hop, rap, friggin' jungle hop, bunny, bunny hop shit. And they're friggin'... You know, crazy. I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. All I hear is, and they're rapping. But anyway, I digress about that shit. But I'm out at this friggin' dance club, and this girl come up to me. And she's, you know, she's a fine looking thing. She's a nice, nice looking girl. Had a nice frame on her, you know. I mean, I, the good was right there, you know. Everything was proportional. So she comes up, she said, hey, uh, you want to buy me a drink? She says, I <laughs> And of course, you know, I'm thinking back in my head, she probably want one of them friggin' eight dollar drinks. It's probably friggin', uh, you know, a, a fluffy, uh, fluff another sandwich or some friggin', you know, whatever the hell, Long Island Hawaiian punch me in the face or whatever the hell it is, you know. And all those friggin' different colors and shits in the glass and, you know, schnapps and whatnot. And yeah, what, whatever, you know, sugar and alcohol is all it is. I figured she wanted one of these drinks, right? Now she comes up. I said, well, what what can I get you, honey? I said, well, what floats your boat? You know, what blows your dress up? And she says, well, I'm just like a Bud Light, she said. I said, Jesus Christ, no shit, you know. Bud Light. Straight up, yep. She drank Bud Light right out of the bottle. That was a girl, right? That was a girl after my heart right here, you know. I'm not a big fan of Bud Light, but you know, I see a girl drinking Bud Light, I'm like, yeah, she knows how to drink a beer right there, that's fucking beer, she's gonna drink it, you know, if she can drink Bud Light and put that down, no problem, there's plenty of other things she ain't gonna have a problem with too, so, anyway, we'll leave it on that, and, you know, that's just a uh, day from Bethel, signing off, alright.